Our next pay-per-view, we are headed to the Big Easy Hard Times in New Orleans, November 12th. It's going to be a major, major pay-per-view, teaming up with our friends with Wildcats uh, Wrestling uh, out there in the Who New Orleans area. Established, long-term, yep. great organization that I've been proud to be a part of, and that's that's going to be incredible. And those tickets will be on sale very, very soon. Stay tuned to all of our NWA social media. Go to NationalWrestlingAlliance.com. Sign up for our email list. You'll be the first to know when tickets are going to be on sale for this big pay-per-view. We're heading to the Big Easy. It's hard times in New Orleans. It's hard times three. It's hard times. Hard times, Daddy. And look at this big matchup here that we're going to be having here this evening on the pay-per-view. NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Homicide. He's been gunning for Kerry Morton. Oh He's been calling out. He wants to fight the future legend, and the future legend has a chance to hold the belt. That his daddy wants hell. Well, and like you said, it's a future legend and a current legend that's in his corner. This is going to be something. And Homicide has been wreaking havoc everywhere he's gone. Big time matchup. And this is where we're starting to see some big changes, folks. A little bit of the changes of the how we've been able to announce matches right. on social media. Originally, Luke Hawks was going to be in this match. Rhett Titus is now going one-on-one -on -one with VSK because Luke Hawks and PJ Hawks, they have a huge opportunity. We'll have more on that in just a little bit. Always ready! The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first from Long Island, New York, representing the Cardona family, this is VSK. VSK needs to change things up for the Cardona family. I mean, he has been on a losing streak with ever since Matt Cardona has been out with injury. He's lost a homicide when he challenged for the Junior Heavyweight Championship at Skyway in Nashville. Uh, and they also have a big loss against the team of Chris Adonis and Tom Latimer when he was teaming with Mike Knox. But he can, all that can change right here tonight. Well, it's, it's tough if you lose any member of your group, but when you lose your leader for any amount of time, and it, especially when it's an injury extended amount of time, it's going to affect the chemistry. It's going to affect wins and losses, and I think that's what we've seen. The leader of the Cardona family, Matt Cardona, has a hand-picked challenger on the pay-per-view. Still have no idea who he's going to pick. I can't wait to see. Yep. And his opponent, hailing from Long Beach Island, New Jersey, this is the professional Rhett Titus. Rhett Titus, look at the intensity of the eyes of this young man, Tim. And I, I you know, this guy, the, the, the quote was professional, that, that's the deal. He's every bit the professional in every way. His approach to the, to the match, his approach to the ring, the way, the way he prepares, this guy is the real deal. Former Ring of Honor television champion, former Ring of Honor tag team champion. And I have to say, I think he has probably one of the most lethal drop kicks in the oh. business. We've seen him win matches with that maneuver. VSK's got to be watching out for that. And both these guys look like they're ready and intense and ready. And they better be. At this venue, on this night, if you don't come 100% prepared, they're going to get left. Red Titus calls himself the professional. He's really a, a bit of a wrestling historian as well. I mean, he idolizes guys like Magnum TA. And right. for him having an opportunity here in the Coruscant volume here at the Chase, it's a big deal for him. Well, it, it should be. It should be a, a big deal for all of us. And, and I appreciate somebody who understands that history and, and, and grabs that moment. And that, we're going to see what he does here. He's feeling confident, a big smile on his face. Going up against VSK. And VSK never lacks confidence. So, no, I mean, that's not it. at that, all. That's, 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 takes that leg, float over. Feeling out process between these two men. Tried to go for a full Nelson there, and VSK was able to kind of roll out of it, grab the arm. Side headlock now by VSK. Headlock takeover. You can, the crowd can feel the energy. They understand what's happening, and they can feel those guys in the ring that are starting to, to, to already, early in the match, to gear it up a little bit. Two shining examples of our junior heavyweight division, which has just been oh on gosh. fire. So excited for that Homicide versus Kerry Morton matchup that we're having later on this evening on Fight TV. Pay-per-view goes live at the top of the hour, folks. Make sure you order it now. Beautiful fireman's carry and isolating the arm. But Titus with the head scissors, slowing the momentum of VSK. Well, I, you know, it, 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 we, we talk about the, the, the early 
parts of a match that are a feeling out process. You're trying to find what, what the strengths of your opponent are, what the weaknesses are, what you, can, what you can take advantage of. And right now, neither one of these guys are finding any weaknesses. No, not at all. But Titus transitioning that side headlock. And folks, you can see in the top left-hand corner of your screen, hashtag NWA74. We want you to be part of the conversation on all social media platforms. Just use the hashtag NWA74. Head scissors take over and again, isolating the neck and the head. Yeah, he has been relentless working that head. Headlocks, head, head scissors take over, over and over and over. And eventually, if, if that continues, it's gonna take a toll. Oh, and just a shot to the face from VSK. And I think VSK at that point recognized, okay, this guy can wrestle. Let me try something a little bit different. him with a monkey flip and Rhett Titus remaining, eyes. remaining in control. Look at those eyes, he's measuring it. Might be looking for the drop kick. No, he goes shoulder first into the post. Measured it a little too long, I think. He was, he was over there kind of tuning it up. Oh, grabbed the arm and slammed it into that corner post. Same arm that he hit when he died when he when he dove in there. This is VSK's opportunity. He's got to get back in the ring and stay on top of Rhett though. Well, oh, but I, at this point, I'm, I'm curious to see if he takes that uh, that slow grinding approach, the way he came in the ring, if he carries that in. Because that's not a bad idea with, with, with Red. Scoop. And a set into the splash, wasting no motion into the cover for a one count. On that pin, he used his forearm, driving it kind of under the bridge of the nose. And that, that's smart. If he can grind, if he can start grinding away. Take some of, of, of Red Titus' speed and quickness away, then and again, not not slow himself, but if he can take that factor, he's creating a weakness that he didn't find earlier. Now, tucking the hand into the trunks for the hammer lock, isolating the arm, and VSK from the apron. Oh, right on. Yeah. And that's a lot of damage to the shoulder, to the back. It attacks a lot. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about the Cardona family with Matt Cardona making his return from injury into the cover, one count. But we can't forget, also later on this evening, big tables match. Oh Bully Ray taking on Mike Knox. I'm looking forward to every single ma every single match on the pay-per-view. This one is special. You know, this is this is a almost, and I, I hate the term grudge match because I think that it, it is sometimes overused. But these guys have have serious life issues that that are, are motivating Mike yeah. Knox. I mean, he's got something to prove. He wants to take something away from Bully Ray. Honestly, it's a feud that's really been boiling for years, and it's just made its way all the way to NWA 74 inside the chase. Nice arm drag to come out of that. Yeah, he had to get some separation, but now up onto the shoulders, floats behind, was looking for a German suplex. Ducks the punch. There's the drop kick. There it is. There it is. And you said it earlier, Joe, sometimes that's a finish. But look, he's not able to capitalize. I think he came down yep. hard on the left arm. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying to shake it out, yeah. trying to get a little feeling back in there. VSK up to his feet. Oh, and a shot to the back. He's got him he, up with that arm is weak. That arm is weak though. You can tell he's having a little trouble hanging on. Had the backbreaker. Gut wrench. Slammed him down. Maybe he's got enough in there. He didn't enough have gas to the that. test. There it is. That's down kick out by VSK. Not quite enough. Once again, hooking with that left yeah. arm. VSK with a super kick. Oh, oh my gosh, it was I right felt on the that over here. This could be it. This could be VSK. Starting with some major momentum for the Cardona family. Can he hit it? Oh. He went right into the knees. VSK, so much damage has been done. Belly to belly, so much like God with the momentum. The winner of this match, Brett Titus. That belly to belly had shades of Magnum TA, didn't it? Absolutely. Oh my and, God. And follow, following, using that, uh, those, that knees to the ribs and then following up with that. You know his breath's already been knocked out of his body. You know he's having trouble breathing. Red Tide is showing why he's the professional. I mean, look, that's a lot of momentum that he's yeah. going to be having. You know, 
going forward as we continue on with the reg legacy of the National Wrestling Alliance. I mean, we're having such a big, big pay-per-view here yeah. at 74, but we're already looking forward to hard times in New Orleans. We're already looking forward to NWA 75. I mean, the sky is the limit for the National Wrestling Alliance. And the reason for that is wrestling just like what yeah. you just saw, folks, right here on the pre-show, here live on YouTube. I could feel it. You could feel it building. You could, you could feel not just the NWA, show after show, pay-per-view after pay-per-view, I, it, it just keeps, yeah, I can't believe it keeps getting better. Yeah. It keeps getting better. I don't, I don't know how that's possible. And we want you to be part of that conversation. Once again, folks, use the hashtag NWA74 across all social media platforms. And take time right now. Go download the Fight TV app and get that two-day pass, the two-day pass, because every match is a main event here on NWA74, including this one. And we don't know even who Matt Cardona is going to be wrestling. He was out for months with that bicep tear. Yeah. He says he's fully recovered. He's passed his medical. Who's he going to choose in his return? And could he it, he could, could choose anybody. Yeah. That's just it. Anybody from anywhere to prove himself. Matt Cardona wrestles all over the world with a whole bunch of different yep. organizations. Yep. He can pull anyone from anywhere. And then, of course, this, our Burke Invitational matchup. The winner of that match is going to get a title shot on night two. Some monumental warriors are yep. in that matchup. Oh an incredible group of 10 wrestlers. You don't want to miss that, folks. That's going to be an incredible matchup, and it's happening right here, night one of NWA 74. And uh, it's, it's a big deal. It's a chance for somebody to make history. Yep. Somebody gets an opportunity to step in the ring for the Burke against our champion, and they get a chance to add their name to that list. That's huge. 100%. And here's another big money matchup I love here. This is happening on our pre-show, folks. Pope taking on Rodney Mack. Last time we saw Pope, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trevor Murdoch. Things didn't go so well. So he's looking to change things up here inside the chase. The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Accompanied by Aaron Stevens from San Antonio, Texas. This is the Red Dog, Rodney Mack. I've known Rodney Mack for a number of years. I know you have as well, Tim. I mean, look at this guy. He is all action. He's all ready for a fight. He's like a pit bull, and he's coming off the chain. He is a dog, man. He comes out and he is a he is a bad man no matter where he fights, no matter who's in the ring with, he's gonna bring it. And this alliance that he has with Aaron Stevens, who I will remind folks, has his manager's license. He will be out here in the corner of the red dog Rodney Mack. Well again, Rodney, Rodney Mack doesn't lack experience in anything, in anywhere. Throw the mind of Aaron Stevens into that corner. It's a whole, yeah. it's a whole different chemistry. That's right. Aaron Stevens, a former NWA World Tag Team Champion, former national champion as well. And we know Rodney Mack, he likes wearing those big chains, but he'd like to add some gold around his waist as well. And his opponent from Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, he has got to be one of the biggest fan favorites we have in the National Wrestling A, a well-deserved standing ovation. And I'm, again, I always try to call it down the middle. And I'll be honest right here, I don't, I don't know which of these guys I would pick tonight. I mean, you've got two pure athletes, one that's a wrestler, one that's a fighter, one that's got power, one that's got quickness, both with experience from all over the world. You can't pick this one. But you certainly can enjoy it. Oh, I, I plan on it. You know, it's so interesting with Pope so recently on NWA Power. He's been so embroiled with Trevor Murdoch as of late. He's tried to extend his hand in friendship, but Murdoch's been blindsided so much as champion. I don't think he can find friendship as genuine anymore from anyone, even from a guy as genuine as the Pope. Well, that Pope has, stu has stood up to that. He's been consistent. He's always going to be there. He's always going to be prepared. And then, I listen, these fans love him. Pope is a former NWA World Television Champion. Was able to retain that championship six times, almost seven, was dethroned by our current television champion, Tyrus, who of course is challenging for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship on night two. Crowd loving that. 
and Rodney Mack not running back. I don't think it matters to Rodney Mack. Oh, no. It, the, the man is, is cold as ice in the ring. He, he, I'm not going to say he feels no emotion because of that intensity, but when he, when he takes the chain off, when you let the dog off the chain, he's going to bring it. We just got to see if Pope, if, if Pope is pimping enough to handle it tonight. The bell is rung, and here we go. Aaron Stevens is telling this crowd to shut up. Oh, Aaron Stevens already getting himself the ball, and Rodney Mack blindside Pope. Look at the face, look at the expression on Aaron Stevens. We talked about adding that chemistry, adding that combination of somebody with, with, with Aaron Stevens' experience in their opening of the match, and we've already seen a little bit of a difference. He's already made a difference. Oh, yeah, a major difference. Pope trying to fight back with a chop to the chest, but Rodney Mack was right there to meet him with a right hand. Well, we know, we know Pope is never going to back down from anybody, oh, yeah. but, but I'll tell you what, if you are not... You better bring everything with Rodney back. Another big chop to the chest. Lighting up the red dog. Big reverse oh, right oh, on top oh, of him oh, off the rope. Man. That is a huge, you know, I, I do think this alliance with Aaron Stevens, it's brought in Rodney Mack's intensity up yeah. to that next level. Which is hard, which is yeah, hard to imagine because right? we know Rodney, but I mean, you saw that. We see people with, you know, hitting that elbow like that off, off the ropes. We don't see people following him with that kind of intensity, with that kind of speed, with that kind of power. He just about took, Pope, just about took Pope's head off. Battle of heavyweights here. Both of which want to hold Goldie. And look at that, Aaron Stevens again with a cheap shot on the outside. Jared Fritz, our referee's back was turned. I guess my I guess my one thought there would be, as much as Aaron Stevens has already made a difference in this match, I, Rodney Mack doesn't need that. In most cases, he doesn't no. need that help to be successful because he can win those on his own. Elbow to the chest. And Pope is rocked and reeling. Rodney Mack slowing things down again. Oh, but misses, misses with the elbow. Pope has found an opportunity. He's found an opening. Blocking the hands, and Pope on the attack. Kick to the midsection, knee to the face. Somehow, Rodney Mack still on his feet. Great combination by Pope. Showing his own power. Inverted atomic drop, trips the leg, drops the four. You can't let Pope build up that head of steam. You can't let him get that train rolling because he will roll right over if you do. Yeah, speaking Rodney of trains. Back, yeah, Rodney Mack's not going to get caught on the track. He's going to be looking for that Elijah Express. Splash in the corner. Coming off the ropes. Oh, oh. the forearm. Takes out Rodney Mack. And Pope is feeling it. He's feeling the energy of St. Louis. Well, you, we've seen a difference right there. Did you notice that Pope got close to Aaron Stevens? Knew where he was, and you can see the frustration on Aaron Stevens' face that he couldn't make a difference. Takes down Rodney Mack. Aaron Stevens is living on the floor. Here comes Pope. Oh! Hanging Rodney Mack out to dry. Pope's loving it. The Pope is rolling. Pope's looking to end this matchup right here. Perch on top of the rope. Coming down. Beautiful cross body off the top. He's got the left. Could be. Oh, Rodney Mack able to kick out. No matter what you think about Rodney Mack's tactics with Aaron Stevens, you have to appreciate the intensity of that man. What a shot to the throw. You know, the, the Greco-Roman throat choke. <laughs> you know, that'll It'll work that, every yeah, time. That'll stop It'll him work every time, but Pope sidesteps, kick to the midsection. There's oh. four upside your head, caught I mean, him in the temple. Yeah, he, he, he kind of slid up his jaw and caught him on the temple, which I don't, I'm not, may not have been where he was it, aiming, but that could have more, yeah, that could have more damage Rodney. than it, It's turning into Rodney back with Aaron Stevens against the Pope and everybody behind him. And Aaron Stevens now up on the apron, and he eats the elbow. Oh. He eats the elbow right to the face. 
but here comes oh, no, no. He the euthanizer. That. He's got the euthanizer locked in. His version of the million dollar dream. Hope's got nowhere to go. I don't Center think you can break this. Rodney I don't Max think, locked in. I don't think you can break this. Hope's it. He taps That's it. it. It's he over. Down. The winner of this match, Rodney Max. Huge win. Huge win. Oh, but here oh, comes Stevens. I think, I think that, we said it from the very beginning, Aaron Stevens, the chemistry there with oh, these guys, it uh, may make over. a difference. It's over, Rodney. It's over, Aaron. What are you doing? Just leveling them. Call it the shots. This beatdown on Pope. Come on. It's coming out of the jacket. There's not much, there's not much Aaron, Jared Fritz can do. Oh, my God. Who is that? It's Kratos. It's Kratos. It's Kratos. Aaron Stevens, former tag team he partner. He doesn't know he's behind him, though. Here comes Kratos. Kratos in over a year. He looks bigger. Aaron he Stevens looks has no stronger. Idea. His own mercenary. He stabbed him in the back. But now Kratos is back in the NWA. Kratos, 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 away on Aaron Stevens. Former tag team partner, former tag team champions, but here comes Kratos. He's unleashed. You talked about Kratos was a mercenary. Now we have to wonder, is this, oh my gosh. Aaron, Aaron Stevens is 245 pounds. And Kratos threw him like it was a 15 pound sack. Just about Dallas. threw him out my of the ring. Gosh. Steven out, out of harm's way. My goodness. He may have just saved Aaron Stevens' life right there. Wow. But look who's standing tall, Kratos. What a return. On the biggest, on the biggest show. And you can hear the adulation of the crowd here inside the chase. They love seeing Kratos back. The crowd loves him. They appreciate him. They're glad he's back. And he, what an impact. I seriously thought Aaron Stevens was going to be thrown out of the ring. Right. It, it, it's one of the big surprises we never thought was going to happen. We've got more surprises in store for you Always. folks. I can tell you right now, I'm going to guarantee that you will see a new champion crowned on night one of NWA 74. We've got some breaking news on that. And, uh, you know, it's almost heartbreaking. It is. It's yeah. almost heartbreaking. And we'll get to that in just a second. But I'm being told in my ear, Mae Valentine, she is backstage with Bully Red. Joining me at this time is Bully Ray. Bully Ray, welcome to NWA 74. You called for this tables match against Mike Knox on Busted Open. Can you tell us what your thought process was? It wasn't really much of a thought process. It was a pretty easy decision. I was invited here by Billy uh, for the Always Ready pay-per-view and for Knoxed Out. I was a guest of the NWA. Me and my brother Devon were the last NWA World Tag Team Champions. I had never worked with the NWA before. It was my pleasure to be here. Um, as everybody in the world saw, um, I was just thanking the fans for having me. I was showing my respect to the NWA. I grew up on this company. I've always appreciated this company. The history of this company. Mike Knox decided to go into his business for himself, come in the ring. Obviously, we have a past together with the aces and eights. He held a grudge against me. He took his shot. He put me through a table. And there was only one way for me to settle this. I got Billy on Busted Open. I told him, Billy, I need to have a tables match against Mike Knox. That's the only way this is going to be taken care of. This might be my last night in the NWA. I have no idea. But I, in, in wrestling, there are no guarantees. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you this right now. And I'm telling everybody out there right now. I guarantee that tonight, Mike Knox goes through a table. Thank you so much for your time. I mean, wow, what a message has been sent from Bully Ray. I mean, we've talked about it a little earlier on in this broadcast. I mean, it is a feud that's been boiling for years. It all, it all comes to a point. It all comes to a head tonight here inside the chase with a tables match. Well, we don't get a lot of times we don't get an opportunity to know what's going on backstage inside people's heads, inside their minds, inside their hearts. Like you said, this has been going a long time. 
tonight we get to see that culminate with two guys trying to hurt each other. And you know, the advantage has to be for Bully Ray. It's a tables match. Yeah. It's a match oh, yeah. practically invented in this sport. If he didn't invent it, he perfected it. That's 100% true. Look, we got a, a lot more big announcements we need to make here on our pre-show. Look at this, Jax Dane, the champion defending against Scion. Once again, Idolmania Sports Management in the spotlight, looking for gold, and Scion's looking to hold the championship. That Austin Idol once held right. our first NWA National Champion was Austin Idol. Scion wants to do the same. Can he do it here inside the chase? We're gonna find out here on night one. And then we just talked about this, folks. Bully Ray versus Mike Knox in a tables match. Oh, a major marquee matchup between these two. I'm excited for that for sure. I, and I'm looking forward to all of them. This is, going to be, this is going to be something special. I know everybody's got to be excited. And this was the big breaking news, folks. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to break this news here. Unfortunately, Harry Smith is out with an illness. But this is NWA 74. William Patrick Corgan had to make the call. It's a special evening. We have to have our tag team championships defended. Those championships will be defended. Unfortunately, the Commonwealth Connection, they are going to be forced to relinquish yeah. the tag team champions. So one of these two teams will be our new NWA World Tag Team Champions, Hawks Ari versus Law Rebellion. It's going to be a barn burner. And then this one, a pick your poison match between Wrecking Ball Ligursky, Colby Carino, Capri Chris Coleman, and then Gustavo. It is a tag team match between these two. It was really interesting what we saw on social media where Colby Carino, he's gunning for Caprice Coleman. We'll have more details on that as we get this match started now inside the chain. The following tag team match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of Wrecking Ball Lugerski and the last bastion of professional wrestling, Colby Carino. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we you may have noticed, in a few days before when we were announcing these matchups, this is supposed to be a six-person right. tag team matchup. All of that has changed with the breaking news that we've been dealing with. But Colby Carino, if you saw it on social media earlier today, calling out Caprice Coleman, he wants to challenge Caprice Coleman to a 30-minute Ironman match. To I, I have to question the logic of that, though, Joe. I, I think what he's thinking is, is that Caprice, the ageless one, that Kobe will have the advantage because of an age. I don't know if that's true, but that's what he's thinking. Yeah, to answer back, Capri says, well, I'd rather wrestle you in a two out of three falls match because I could beat you twice in a row. So that's what's the stipulation for this match is, folks. If Wrecking Ball and Kobe Carino win, we're going to have a 30-minute Ironman match on night two. If Caprice and Gustavo win, well, a two out of three falls match on night two. I don't, you can't lose. I don't know which one of those I want to see more. <laughs> that's going to be incredible either way. Gustavo, I mean, he's a really wild card in this match. A very entertaining member of our junior heavyweight division. He's really yet to taste victory here in the NWA, but I think that that's just made him more hungry for competition. But will the wrecking ball be too much to chew? Well, it, 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 it's one of those things, though, where, yes, he hasn't been successful, but, but he stood up well in every match he's been in. He was in every one of them. There, there were some barn burners, and look who he's paired with. The ageless one, who is phenomenal shape, phenomenal person, phenomenal wrestler. This is going to be good. Yeah, Caprice Coleman might be have, he might have one of the best minds for this, this sport. And you see that whether he's wrestling in the ring or if he's doing our job, right. calling the action. But he looks focused. I think he knows he, he wants to prove a point to this young man and to perhaps the, the thousands, perhaps millions of people watching around the globe. Well, and I'm not, I'm not sure this is, but Caprice's entire family is, is talented. Uh, his son actually has done my entrance music and is talented in his, in his own right. We'll see what happens with the dad, because the dad is the one that sets, that sets everything up. Who's going to start this? Kobe oh, Green. whoa! Looks like Kobe Greeno's going to start it. He's looking to jumpstart and blindside the team of Gustavo and Coleman, and that has completely backfired. But there's been no bell, am I right? Did I hear a bell? Oh, well, there's no, a tag, so well, maybe there, there was. Go. Oh, there's the there's bell right the bell. there. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's the bell right there. Okay, Oh, my. And that is exerting your authority as a 380-pound 
mountain of a man in Wrecking Ball Wadurski in comes Karina. Uh, Wrecking Ball is 400 pounds. I mean, I don't, and again, I don't know what these two guys weigh, but he may, he may weigh as much as the two guys he's in there with. Into the cover. Not even a one count on Caprice. Toby Carino, he seems like he's been in a feud with almost everyone in the junior heavyweight division as of late. Well, we know Colby's background. The guy's intelligent, and maybe that was his strategy. Bring in a 400-pound guy in, in this division that can make a difference. Maybe that was the whole thought process. And once again, Jay Bradley still out with that injury. That might even change things up for the NWA U.S. Tag Team Championship Battle Royal for night two. Stay tuned for information on that, folks. Big drop kick from Gustavo. A double drop kick. Well, and we're seeing we're seeing two established junior heavyweights that are already trying. They're going to have to change their strategy. Oh, and none they got the, caught. None oh. of the normal things they're doing, including a double drop kick, can take this guy off his feet. But Gustavo's feeling the love here. Chase oh. Elliott swatted out of the air. Like King Kong swatting at a plane. Ligurski, I mean, he, that didn't surprise him. He knew exactly what, what was going to happen. He looked up before it ever happened and knew that he had won that battle. We've seen Wrecking Ball really in the limelight here in the NWA, hosting a number of our NWA surges. Well, and we've gotten to see a lot of, of, of his personality come out in those things. But right now, what we're seeing is that mean streak that we see, that he seems to find sometimes that other gear. And Tags he, made. And he's applying it to these guys. It, this is, you know, he could be the difference maker. Maybe Colby's a genius. Ooh, an elbow to the throat. And that momentary distraction left a window. I think Ligurski kind of blocked that. And then made it, and then made his own tag. <laughs> In comes Zagurski, chopped to the chest. Gustavo Aguilar trying to make that tag. And a clubbing blow to the chest. Well, and this this a little bit of a, a precursor to that to that battle royal that, that we're gonna have tomorrow night. There's been a we know there's been a team at it, Joe. Yeah. We know who that is. And, and yeah, OGK, and it's a, another incredibly talented tag team added to this, bat, this tag team battle royal. I, it's, I mean, again, you also have to wonder, is Jay Bradley, is he going to be medically cleared by tomorrow? As he just tosses. I don't know, but I hope whatever that condition that is that he, we kind of saw earlier, I hope that uh, clears up before then. Hope he's got ice on it as Ligurski is continuing to just pummel away at Gustavo. Tag is made, in comes Carino, the last bastion, son of the former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Steve Carino. Trying to make his own mark in the sport of professional wrestling. Bitter feuds with PJ Hawks and Kerry Morton as well. Both of those wrestlers have huge opportunities coming up. Well, and what we've seen with, with Colby Carino is every match that he had and he's had so far has been outstanding. He's a competitor and, and he's had he's had both wins and losses, but he but he conducts himself well and shows in all of those as a competitor. Look at Ligurski, compared the power of this 400-pound monster against these guys is amazing. Wow. And the impact. I, I just, I don't know what you do when you're fighting somebody that's that much bigger than you. Well, and I would guess that right now that's exactly what these two competitors are thinking about. The, the guys that he's in there with, they're thinking, what do we do? How do we take this guy? How are we going to beat this guy? Obviously, we can't even get him off his feet. Gustavo now up on the shoulders once again. This could be it. Slap at that big belly. Uh, oh, tag is, wait a minute. You know, something. I don't think, I don't think Wrecking Ball was ready for that tag. I think no, Colby but, just, but, but I don't know if you noticed from the time they came through the, you know, down the steps, through the, down the aisle, there's been a little bit of a, of, of, I don't know. That, Friction, perhaps. Yeah, well, you saw Kobe jump on his back, and Ligurski kind of threw him off. We've seen a couple of inter you know tags that were that were unexpected. And I don't know if that's an intentional thing by, by either or one of them, or if it's just something going wrong right now. Or maybe now. Ligurski doesn't want to be pulled into this stipulation that's really just benefits either Caprice Coleman and Kobe Carino. Point. It's going to lead to a point. match for them. Ligurski already says, oh, oh. let the neck breaker across the knee. This could be enough there. Kick out at two. There's got to be a lot of pressure for Gustavo as well. Oh. 
And Gustavo's been in, he's, he's been in that ring a long time. He's yeah. been isolated a long time. Caprice Coleman needs to make this tag. And you can see the look of the face of Caprice Coleman after he was blindsided. He is frustrated. He wants to get in this match. He usually has the biggest smile in the world. But now Gustavo, oh, with a DDT, with a DDT. He gets the counter, but can he get the tag? Uh, he's firing, he's trying. He's got everything inside of him. He's trying to get enough energy to get over there to his partner. Caprice is stretching that hand, wanting in. Crawling with everything he's got. Tag is, is made to Lukerski. Can he get there? Gustavo's got to get, get there. there. But no, Lukerski no, cutting him off at the pass. Jawbreaker, jawbreaker. Crawling through the legs. Can he make it? Looking for the tag. Step up in Zuri. Lukerski's going to Here is the tag. It comes Carino. Big clothesline from the anxious one. Freshest man in the matchup. Oh. Clothesline, oh, my goodness. He's been waiting a long time. Tag oh, is made. Man. Carino had enough. Swing and a miss, but look at the quickness, look at the speed of Caprice Here he Coleman. Comes. That boxing background coming through. Ducks the clothesline, Caprice Coleman. Coming off the ropes. Big He's off his feet. He's off his feet for the Did first it. time in the match. That could be it. Will it be enough? Call Carino. Carino breaking things up. Kobe Carino, looks like he was trying to lock in the DDT. Up onto the shoulders. Rolls through, but, oh, into the cover! Into the cover of Gustavo! Caprice Coleman, now he's got to go around. it up, he did not like that. Oh, and what a shot! One big right hand, leveling, leveling Kobe Carino. Now, oh, 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 I don't think, I, I, I don't know what was going through Wrecking Ball's mind. He, he tapped out unexpectedly quickly in there. And Kobe Crino is not happy about that. And I, and I don't know if it's the loss or the way the loss happened, but he is not happy. Oh, look at Wrecking Ball. What's he shooting the hands? We haven't it's seen this before. Kind of sportsmanship from one half of the fixers? Oh my. I think it's over. I think. Whatever relationship the Fixers had with Colby Carino has got to be over. If it's not over, it will be if he catches him. But now we know, folks, night two, it's going to be a two out of three falls matchup. Caprice Coleman versus Colby Carino. What a showcase for our junior heavyweight division. That's what, that's what Caprice wanted. So I have to think that going into that match by getting the match he chose, he's got to have a little bit of advantage. Wow. What a monumental pre-show it's been. Oh, my gosh. And the talent level in the NWA, it doesn't matter because it seems like every time we talk about the women's division, the, the junior heavyweight division, the heavyweight division, I find myself saying that the talent level is incredible because it is. It in is. every single one of them, pay-per-view is going to be unbelievable. Yeah, speaking of which, this is what we're seeing here on night one. EC3 is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mims. Will he be able to control his own narrative? Here inside the chase, we will find out on the pay-per-view. And a Beelzebub's Bedlam match, a hardcore matchup, no disqualification. The Miserably Faithful versus the Ill-Begotten. These teams absolutely hate each other. And I tell you, the hardware is coming out for that matchup. And Tim, I know you're excited about this one. Well, we got Chris Adonis against Odinson. Two both have championship gold in the past. Both men are competitors. Both are big. Both are strong. We'll see who comes out on that one. And speaking of gold, our NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship match, Homicide defending against Kerry Morton. Homicide has been on a roll every singles match he has. He has defended that strap. He wants to do it up against the future legend. And then this right here. Who will challenge Matt Cardona? Who will be the hand-picked opponent to go against a man who has just been medically cleared to wrestle here in the NWA? And he's got to prove that he's back and ready. He's going to pick a tough one.
and our Burke Invitational. We've got 10 Warriors all gunning for the Burke. The winner will go on to night two, who will face either Camille or Taya Valkyrie for the Burke, our NWA World Women's Championship. But moving on to our NWA National Heavyweight Championship match. Jack Stade holding on to that strap, popping the trunk, beating up everyone in his way. But he's going up against Sion with Austin Idol in his corner. That's going to be one to watch, too. And then we got Bully Ray against Mike Knox in a tables match. We've talked about it. It's boiled under the surface. It's going to explode here. And look at this, just added, folks, breaking news. We will have new NWA World Tag Team Champions tonight inside the chase. Will it be the Hawks RE or will it be the former champions, La Rebellion? We'll find out. But this is our main event, folks. Camille, she says she's one time. Can she prove it here tonight at the chase? And she's going up against La Huera Loca, Taya Valkyrie, the belt collector. Will she collect another belt in the main event of night one of NWA 74? You'll only find out if you order the pay-per-view. You got to do it now. We're going live on fight at the top of the hour. It's time. It's time. It's almost velvet time. Almost. She'll be back out here. Not yet. Not yet, but we'll, she'll be back out here for the broadcast, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a monumental pre-show. I'm excited. Tim's excited. Absolutely. Everyone in the chase is excited, right? See, yeah. I, a great venue, great fans, great talent, great matches, and it's about to explode right here at the chase. We'll see you on Fight.